And welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Bound. Things seem to be picking up speed. Whoa! <laughs> I, I did not know that was going to happen. I promise. I wasn't doing. I wasn't doing a bit. <laughs> oh, this is cool, though. Uh, I can still do, like, fancy things like this as I slide. I adore this. It's amazing the kind of spectacle that even indies can create right now. Like, with, uh with tech and, like, tools coming as far as they have. It's a really awesome time for games in general. Wow. You all right down there? You good? Hmm. Another scene, right? Yeah. Hmm. I wish there was a bit more expressiveness to her face. I, I know that's... Not the, uh, highest priority for a game like this, but, uh, I wish either there was more expressiveness to her face or that the camera didn't, uh, focus on her face much ever, just because it, uh, it doesn't, isn't playing to the strengths of what they're trying to do here. Very small nitpick, granted, just, uh... If you're not able to do, like, like, I've worked on games where you can't really, like, there's not a whole lot of bones in a character's face, and there's not a whole lot of, a, a lot you can do to make their face look super expressive. And in those cases, you just, it's usually that way because the game is almost never going to zoom in close on any character's face, so it's not like, you're not even going to be close enough to really see what their faces are doing. So there's no point in putting a lot of bones there or putting in a lot of animation time there. So am I, am I just choosing the order in which I go through these levels? I must be. In which case, I'm playing them quite out of order. Sorry for playing out of order. <laughs> uh, let's go back to the beginning then. There we go. Okay, no. Played this one. Zoom? There we go. Interesting that they let you play in whatever order you want, if that is actually what's happening. <laughs> That's my guess. Hmm. Yeah, those two giants also the kids. Inconclusive. Let's dance until things make sense. Can I dispel all this stuff with dance? Is that possible? It's getting a little chaotic in here. Has my dance been changing from level to level? There are parts of it that seem new each time. 
Or maybe there's just a bunch of different dances. But if there's a different dance per level, then holy cow. That's a lot of work. For something that only <laughs> nerds are going to notice. Huh. Okay. And we're off. On another adventure. There's just such... So there, there are, I think, a couple of different kinds of... ...joy you can get from just moving a character around a space. And it may be that really those two kinds are... It may be that they're just completely linked and that uh, you can't really can't enjoy one without the other. But like, there is something that feels immediately responsive and... and precise to where you can control something exactly the way you want and the character is always exactly where you want them to go. And, and you feel like you have complete control over how that character moves. That can feel great. Like, that's the sort of precision that, like, a Super Meat Boy and lots of other, like, uh, uh, lots of really other excellent platformers and such feel like are good fighting games or whatever. But there's also just controlling a character that moves around in an awesome way, or just in a beautiful-looking way. And it may be that if controlling this character felt terrible, I wouldn't enjoy it as much. So it may be, like, a character that looks awesome when they move requires good control design as well, or it may be that, like, the characters that feel great to control because they're super precise also, like, that also involves a certain amount of the animation really making you feel it and helping to sell and communicate their movement. I don't know. I'm, I'm rambling and babbling about things that I'm not sure about. It's just their thoughts I'm having. <laughs> <laughs> this is a let's play, isn't it? Gotta talk about something. Charge! Through the hazards. There's a lot of hazards. Do -do -do. Charge. Keep dancing. Keep dancing. Do some fancy moves. Just for fun. Why not? Like, I've not figured out any utility to those fancy moves while you're dancing. It may just be that that's a little bit of... Okay. Whoops. It may be that's just a little bit of self-expression that they're allowing the player to have. Which is really cool, if so, because that's like a lot of extra... Because that's a lot of extra work. But I mean, it does kind of pay off, because I love having the ability to do different movements and stuff while I'm dancing. Where am I going? Let's say it's... oh, maybe. It's supposed to be... wandering up the sides here? Or maybe I'm supposed to just go straight this way. No? No? Hmm, okay. Um... Maybe... I jump down. And I walk around here? Maybe that? Hmm, no? Where am I headed? Oh, wait. There's something. There's something with promise. Yes, and they have the little blue bits to lead me. Okay. Oh, that feels like a slightly awkward jump, but it's working. Yeah, 
Okay, yeah. Yeah. This game is cool. I endorse grabbing this game. Whoa. Oh, that is that is disorienting. In an intentional way, I mean clearly, but neat. Hmm. Let's see. Let's jump down. This is so very relaxing. Hmm. I see some steps over this way and I'm curious. Eh, careful, careful, careful. Anything? No? What if I dance? Alright, fine. Uh, whoop! Overshot. Ah, I so love that... Like... I fell... I fell off the ledge. Now I'm back. Recovery. Animation. That is so neat. I wonder if that is, uh... That seems like the kind of thing to me, like... Where... During the motion capture session, when they had the dancer all set up with the mocap suit and everything, that, um... That seems like the kind of thing where that was just a movement she did at one point to stand while standing up, kind of in dancing mode. Or just a cool bit of dancing that she did while just they were recording stuff that they decided to use. It may be that they intentionally had her uh, do some sort of cool dancing movement to stand. But, uh... I know, sometimes when you're recording mocap, you unintentionally get some really cool little movements that the uh, performer does. That you can then just kind of, uh, repurpose. And use for uh, some other thing you weren't originally planning. Oh! Kind of, uh, intruding on my chill time here. The body mechanics of dance in general are just so fascinating. Like, if you're getting into animation at all... Hey, I'm trying to talk, man. Like, if you're getting into animation at all, I highly recommend attempting to animate... Uh, some sort of dance. Not, not, not even like a big, long one or anything, just a dance move. Maybe find a way to cycle it or something. Like, I think I did that during school, actually. Like, I did three... dance cycles. And I think I, uh... <laughs> see, I pulled them from MC Hammer's Can't Touch This, because those have some fun dance movements. But, uh... You could pick anything, though. There's a lot of amazing dance out there. If I was doing it now, I think I would look to... Shoot, what is that kind of dance called? Hang on, I'm looking this up. That's gonna bother me. Okay, so I think the styles of dance is one of two, and they're both, uh, like, traditional Indian style of dances called, like, Kathak and Bahatanatra... Wow, shoot, what's it? Uh... Bharatanatyam. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I know I didn't say that right. But, uh, look those up. <laughs> or maybe I better link to them down in the description, because they're hard to spell. They're... Really awesome looking dances, and that's not where I'm supposed to go. But they're really amazing looking, intricate hand movement dances that are so cool. Like, they would be really hard to emulate, I think, in animation, just because it's just such... There are some dances that are, like, big, broad, full-body movement, and then there are some that are really intricate and flowing and organic, and I think those would be really hard to get looking just right. 
It'd be a fun challenge, though. Oh man, you want another fun challenge? Look up the... <laughs> okay, so there's a style of dance that is literally called animation, which looks and functions very similar to kind of, essentially, the robot pop and lock kind of stuff. It's a style of dance that's functionally trying to look... to look robotic. In a way. And it's... Come on now. There we go, okay. <laughs> Had to concentrate for a second there. It's a style of dance meant to look really robotic, and I'm gonna put some links to a couple of really awesome examples of it down uh, below as well, because... It's... It functionally makes an organic person look robotic and mechanical. And that's a really hard thing to do. Like, it is really hard to make our bodies move in a way that looks... Like, that looks robotic in any way. Because our body just is built to naturally move in organic ways. And a, and, a, and a common difficult thing in animation is keeping your characters from... Mm, was I supposed to do that? Uh, maybe I was. It's difficult sometimes to keep your characters from looking, like, robotic and mechanical. Like, you want them to look, like, organic and thinking and feeling like people. So... Animating... Overcoming that challenge while animating a style of dance that is meant to look robotic, so you have to make it look just organic enough to where it doesn't actually look like a robot, but then also robotic enough that it actually looks like they're doing the dance well. That seems like the ultimate challenge <laughs> uh, as an animator, but someday I'd love to attempt it. To try to, like, analyze their movement and figure out what part of their movement feels organic, what part of it feels robotic, and attempt to, like, reproduce the essence of that style of dance would be... That'd be a fun challenge. I'm babbling about on semi-related things. <laughs> uh, back to the game, though. I've just been sort of following their breadcrumb <laughs> trail, or what seems like the breadcrumbs they're using to guide me along here, so... And it seems to have been working, which is a, a testament to their level design. Because I don't- this doesn't seem like the kind of game where they're trying to, like, really want you to puzzle out where to go. They want you- they want to make it fairly clear which- like, they don't want you to get lost. It seems like. There's my ladder. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no, wait, dance is related. What am I talking about? This is the dance game. It's one of the only dance games I can play on this channel that's not gonna have content ideable music. Can't be playing Dance Central on this. Ooh. This game is so darned neat. I really love that Sony's been, like, publishing so many cool... Oh, what's going on here? I, I love that Sony's been trying to publish so many interesting, uh, indie experiences like this. What are we looking at here? Hmm. Enhance. Okay, so she knocked over some plants. Got it. Got it. Okay. 
I'm keeping up. Right on. I wonder if they needed voice, uh, voice performance in this. I wonder if it would have worked without. I don't think it's a problem. I'm just, I, like, I wonder if it's more or less effective if she has a voice for, like, a strain or being attacked or anything like that. Yes. Oh, I love it. My favorite thing. One of my many favorite things in this game. Before next episode, I'm figuring out what this studio's name is, because... I want to give credit where credit is due, and I want to keep their name and memory so I can keep track of what else they're doing. Sorry, I'm not saying anything. I'm just kind of <laughs> entranced. But all right. Fun ribbon rides are over. We got places to be. What is this space, though? I suppose we will find out another time. Thank you all very much for watching. And, uh, and I'll be back next time with some more of this.